Yo what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix FPS drops in Fortnite and it's actually a super simple and quick method guys which is going to fix this issue for a lot of people. So therefore if you enjoy this type of videos please don't forget to leave a like and also don't forget to check out my latest videos guys they are 100% worth it. And with that said let's get straight into this topic. Yeah guys what I want you to do now in the first place is click on the first link in the description where you can find my website and here on the top it already says FPS boost, input delay and stretch resolution and we of course gonna click onto FPS boost and then once we got redirected guys we can see a bunch of posts which you should by the way also all check out guys that really help you to increase your performance on your PC but here on the top should be one with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now just simply click onto it then you should get redirected to a brand new site where you can scroll down a little bit more until you find this download button and then you should get a file here guys which is going to be called easy stutter fix and what you're going to do is right click onto it and just simply extract it here or onto a desktop then we're going to open it up depending if you have 4 gigs of RAM or a PC until 4 gigs of RAM you're going to launch the 32-bit version. If you have something above 4 gigs of RAM, you know, like 8, 16, 32, whatever, you're going to launch the 64-bit version. And then we're actually going to launch the program itself, and it should look exactly like this here, guys. And you can see now your physical memory. This is the one which we're going to um, work around with, guys. You can see here, right now my PC only used 9% because I basically just started my PC like 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. Let's just say like while gaming or whenever you open like new programs, something like Spotify, Google Chrome, and you even close them after afterwards your RAM is gonna remember that and that's why your usage will go up no matter what even if you just simply play Fortnite guys and the available RAM is gonna decrease by time so right now here I have 28.9 gigs um, available but let's just say that I would game like for an hour this would probably even go down to like 24 23 gigs you know even though I was just playing Fortnite in the background and what you want to do is have this usage actually as low as possible so therefore you have more free RAM which is going to speed up your PC in general. And once you went into the settings guys we have your general and what we want to do actually is click here onto load on system startup so it always like launches in the background and start minimize. Then we're going to go back to memory cleaning and then we can put a memory management actually on clean when above and then like a certain percentage and I would say something between like 70 or 80 percent is like the best one you should do yeah when like 80 percent of your RAM is already filled with temporary information um, it should clean it. You can also clean your um, real quick your memory if you want to you know manually but I just simply keep it on like when it's above 80%. Let's just say that I'm editing a video my memory usage actually goes up to like 70-80% you know because like Adobe is trying to use as much of my memory as possible which might actually cause my PC to crash or whenever I hop into Fortnite afterwards I have horrible FPS so therefore put it really on like 80% and once it reaches 80% it's just gonna clean it again and you're gonna have all of that available memory again like refresh crashed. And therefore, guys, just simply let this run in the background. For a lot of people, this is going to fix your FPS drops in Fortnite. And I hope that this was helpful.
And with that said, guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.